Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive starseed to Meryl, your light worker. Back with another general read for my beautiful, handsome collective. How are you? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hugs and kisses to you. Hopefully the message resonate with you guys. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations, you guys, your emails. Thank you so very much for your guys' support, your generosity, um, also your shares. Um, a lot of you have brought a lot of a lot of other um, subscribers along with you, so I do do appreciate that. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hopefully, the message will resonate with you, or you just get in for the vibe, your choice. All right. I do use profanity over here, so if that's going to be an issue, I may not be the reader for you, okay? And that's fine. But if you choose to stay, I'd love to have you, all right? Gender can be fluid over here, so he can be a she. She can be a he. Flip the roles. Same sense, same scenario, just flip the roles, okay? All right? Let's get into the read. Let's see what messages we have for my beautiful handsome collective chef can be significant to this read Someone could be six feet to six five feet tall, masculine. Next card relocating, man or woman. Next card heavy angelic protection. Elizabeth. Being told to keep these, so ugh. purchase that book you keep putting off. Collective man or woman spells and rituals hidden in pockets. Man or woman, hmm. Someone is looking to purchase a book um, to help further your spiritual growth. It could be something um, for some of you, like, uh, could be like a foodie or whatever. But I feel like some you follow, maybe follow somebody that's a foodie that's like a chef, like, um, that's on social media or something like that. They may have a cookbook, a recipe book that they're putting out that you keep putting off getting. Go ahead and get that. For others of you, it's like a spiritual type of thing where it's something dealing with maybe you're looking into being a shaman or um, like learning more about like the deities like Orishas and things like that. Like digging deeper into your spirituality, you know, even your uh spiritual roots by way of your ancestors. So these the, the for some of you it could be a book that you're looking at I've been saying you're gonna get to that dives deeper into what you um, are going into or whatever um, you feel or felt like could help you on your journey like at, at, the, at the beginning of a, you're at the beginning or somebody may have suggested this book to you and you keep putting off getting it um, 
somebody's doing some divination towards somebody here that's um either a past person or somebody that is walking away from somebody here that no longer serves that higher self it's like somebody um looking to take their anger out on somebody here because of something ending or a cycle ending for somebody but somebody um you could be chosen you could be a star seed like from a royal bloodline is what i'm getting um Somebody definitely, uh, you are lo relocating collective because I'm getting somebody here is like starting a new, like wiping the slate clean. You may have ended out of cycle. Um, looking at a, a career change, which may cause you to travel. It may cause you to um, do more of what you have now got some time to do, or, you know, um, or finding yourself making time to do now where you didn't before after in and out of cycle so you may for some of you or somebody in particular may be relocating or you already have um and this is dealing with somebody else um that you ended out of cycle with that may be possibly relocating but somebody spent a whole lot of money on spell work and rituals to the point that it all has failed, it's backfired, it's um, damn near got somebody under judgment. If not, they gifts are stripped because somebody under heavy angelic protection because of this excessive use of some very strong divination. That's why this, this these spells and rituals are costing. They're like 500 and up like somebody is desperate I'm hearing like somebody desperate to stop something it's like to call somebody an ending or call somebody you know some a setback or something worse because I feel like whatever it is, it's so, it's so heavy that somebody may even have traveled to go get something done. And that went into the cost of the spell work and the rituals also. Like the cost of travel and all that, like. Next card is seeing you in their dreams. Somebody either going through a dark night of the soul or they going through a spiritual awakening, some type of transformation. Somebody being shown some things about a cycle that they missed the opportunity in. And somebody went and started doing some type of divination to like slow something down, stop something from happening because they feel like it's, they don't have time to catch up. Like somebody is like feeling as though they're not going to be able to keep catch up to where you are to claim this spot they used to have. This person got to heal. They got some things they need to learn some lessons from by way of taking their time, they ever loving time is what I'm hearing, to end out a cycle, to see, you know, their faults and to do the necessary healing on whatever areas of their life that is holding them back that other people are using to hold them back. And this person is being shown things about you in their dream state. Because this person is either being shown the bad choices that has led to what they're seeing. 
somebody seeing something that had a whole lot to do with the choices they made and you had to make the choice you made to move forward because somebody was refusing to make to make the changes either their intuition was blocked their foresight you know was blocked or manipulated in some way and somebody either went and got a reading or somebody they involved with got a reading and tried to slow something down, stop something, put an ending to something or try to, you know, reverse something back to them to where you, that shit ain't going to, it's not going to work. Somebody panicked when they saw whatever they saw in this in their dream state and they immediately start, you know, feeling like they needed to use some type of divination, you know, to try to go and get a reading um, done to see what they can do or go talk to somebody. And this person just confused. I feel like somebody panicked when they, and this could, these dreams, I don't, they don't stop. This is not one dream. This person could have more than one dream. Masculine, who feminine, whoever this is, I feel like it's a masculine. But I feel like somebody has a lot of dreams, a lot of uh, downloads that they get in their dream state of different scenarios, different things that have played out in their lifetime that led, it's like a series of events, a timeline. And it's like, they can't just be, I don't feel like they just being shown you for nothing. I feel like somebody's showing somebody something to guide them in the right direction to right some wrongs, to go and make something right. And they're being spiritually guided to do so in going through this dark night of the soul or this spiritual awakening. Next card, you got goons and I got mine. So like I said, somebody want to come for somebody not just in the 3D, but in, in the spiritual realm. And somebody don't realize somebody's bloodline is not to be played with, fucked with, toyed with, tested. And they went and did just that. And that protection done been quadrupled, you know, since somebody really feel like they got that kind of ranking or whatever they went and paid for was gone break down you know this barrier that you had or get make this breakthrough for them that they wanted by way of what they feel like they dream state showed them that you know uh what's going on with you but i feel like somebody failed to realize manipulation is the reason why they in that situation this is why they in that situation somebody likes to manipulate and play games and try to um run a muck in your energy like play in your face in your energy and not do the work that they need to do on themselves and actually sit they ass down and look at what you know the big picture is and stop looking to go attack 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 you know um somebody's free will or the natural order of how something going because this person got a lot to do with why something ain't going their way why they are in a tower and the minute this person ends out of cycle, that they, they're going to get this tower. Okay? And running from their karma by way of trying to do divination and using rituals and spells to try to uh, project and cast, you know, negativity and, and dark clouds, you know, in the collective direction ain't going to help nobody. It's not going to help because it's not even going through. It's not even leaving the earthly realm. You know what I'm saying? It's not even leaving the earthly plane. They, they shit blocked. You you too protected for whatever somebody feel like, you know, they're going to go outside the country, within the country, around the corner, up the street, two stakes over and do. It's just not going to fucking work. It is what it is. Somebody attacking the wrong person. If it was meant for them to, you know, it to be effective, it would be. And if at one time it was, it was because it was a time, you know, for a lesson to be learned. But it was not meant to, you know, take anybody out. It was meant to sit everybody down and everybody get their shit together. But somebody decided they wasn't going to do that that way. And they panicked. So. 
Next card, someone in their friend circle sees you different. But somebody got their goons and the collective got theirs. You know what I'm saying? They may have some goons in the 3D, but the collective, I mean, you got some goons in the in the spiritual realm that wasn't no joke when they was in the 3D. Whoever these loved ones were, are, they ain't they was the same way on this earthly plane before they left here. That's what I'm getting. They they ain't nothing short if not standing on business even in the spiritual realm. I'm just I'm just being honest. Um and this is why somebody's protection is the way it is because they know people like this are going to try and test somebody here to get them to go against the grain or um or even just create blockages to keep somebody from you know going on their path or going toward their calling all together even if it's a it's a divine calling divine union partnership somebody working day and night and 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 using every paycheck and everybody else's paycheck to go and get something done to work in their favor how they gonna pay these people back who knows But there's a goon that's going to have to put somebody on their damn taxes if they want to get paid because somebody ain't going to have no finances to be sending nobody to go do no dirty work for them because they're going to be on some goddamn practitioners. And these practitioners are going to end up doing some damn spells and rituals on their ass if they don't get their money. Because it's saying somebody pockets up. Ain't no, you know, ain't no such thing as no hookup with no spell and ritual. You either got that money and you don't. That's one thing for certain. I know people ain't taking no you know, pin it, you know, taking no penis for, you know, on no hookup type shit. Like, man, you can, you know, we've been knowing each other for years. You can give me the hookup. Not on no spells and rituals. Hell no. You're going to have that. You need to have that money. <laughs> I ain't heard nobody yet saying that they taking some, they pulling out some shorts for somebody. They want their money. Okay. If, if it's that serious to you, it's that serious for them. But somebody in a somebody's friend circle see you different. It's like somebody um may be listening to certain ones in this group, giving them bad advice on purpose. Because I feel like somebody give somebody bad advice on purpose. And I feel like it's because some of them in their friend group is in competition with them. A lot of them in this friend group could be like this group of masculines, you know, one of them could be a chef. But it's like a lot of them in here competing with each other, low-key competing. You know what I'm saying? Sharing, you know, different stuff they got going on with each other, you know, for the reaction. Strictly for the reaction. Because otherwise, even if you're a close friend circle, it's no need for everybody to know everything thing about every aspect of your life especially when it comes to the dating world uh, or in, on a sexual level you know what I'm saying that's really not something hell, even if I was a masculine I would be talking to other masculines about you know what I'm saying now, but that's just me you know you know me and in, in, in my private self but anyway um, somebody here does not agree with everybody else in this circle they kind of look at you as Somebody that has some qualities that is very rare. A lot of people don't even want to have as a woman, as a feminine, as a masculine. You know what I'm saying? Like this person does not see what somebody talking about as a issue or something that, you know, is something, you know, to really deem as something that they can't live with. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not an issue. Like, it's bigger things to be worried about. I, I get, I'm getting that that thing where, um, I, I, I remember I told somebody one day a while back, years ago, I said, don't tell somebody in a group of people or go to making it sound like you boasting or bragging or you know, like you really being in your pride, you know, in your ego talking about how you ain't going to do something. This person wants you to do this or this person expect you to be like that. And every this person doing everything else, you know what I'm saying? They not doing what the average, you know, 
woman and feminine is out here doing. They don't carry themselves that way. They not somebody they very much deserving of what they asking of you because they not they don't they they may know of these this kind of behavior. They may have even been that way at some point in their life, but they're not now. And they're standing on whatever it is and they may not be into certain things. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. Um, but I feel like when it came to what I said, I said, don't make, uh, you know, don't get in your pride or your ego and start talking with people about what it is you won't do that somebody feel like, you know, they deserve from you or they want from you or they expect it from you or they telling you they want from you or need from you or whatever. And you complaining about it, you know, whereas there could be worse of things or there could be things that you could really, you know, question. But that right there is too small to even question. It's just a it's just a simple thing of you either want to do this for that person because it makes them happy or you don't. You know what I'm saying? If you're in their life for the purpose of making them happy and making sure that, they, you know, they are happy or stay that way if you met them that way. You know what I'm saying? They already do enough, you know, for themselves. If they, if you can't contribute and build, you know, with them when it comes to happiness together, then what you there for? But don't tell folks around you that you keep company with what it is you got a problem with because somebody in that group will feel like, well, damn, if you got a problem with that and, and that's the only thing you find it wrong with them, shit, I deal with that. that. I mean, that ain't shit. You know, if that person, if that's all you complaining about, if you making that, you know, something to, you know, look over that person for shit, I take them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting that song by, um, was it Brian McKnight? I'll take them. Mm, Alpha now said, hmm, I'll take them. Yeah, like, don't, don't be so quick, you know, to, you know, talk about what you want to do because somebody else will. And if they feel like that's all you willing not to do, you know what I'm saying, and you, you throwing away a whole good person over that one thing right there, what's, what you call trash is another man's treasure. Don't be surprised you look up and that friend in your group is, you know, is happily married to somebody you felt like, you know, had an issue or, you know, had that, that flaw that you said, you know, you just couldn't wake up and go to, you know, couldn't go to bed with or wake up with. Like it was like it's always gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? Tell that person what it is and I'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? But don't just put a person by the road for the garbage man because you fail to sit down and talk to them about them just being they self. That may not be an issue where somebody here, you know, um a past person or ex lover here may have brought something up about you, collective man or woman, that was not really something that they even brought to your attention was an issue, but they, they reacted to it and treated you a certain way because of it. And somebody in this group looking at that different, like, why would you treat somebody like that because of that? And then expect them to still want to be with you. Like what? Like shit, I take a, That's what I'm getting. Like somebody looking at you in this group differently than everybody else. Somebody ain't looking at you as somebody that, um, somebody don't see you in, in this friend circle that somebody got as somebody that's a gold digger, you know what I'm saying? Or a, uh, a fake person or somebody trying to be a certain way to win somebody over. Like somebody seeing that somebody wants you to be a certain way to be with them and, and somebody in this friend group see that, like they see what somebody's saying is not bad at all. It's somebody that want to, you know, try to control something or make, you know, something a, a issue that really ain't. It's the fact of this person just want to find something wrong because they don't want to admit theirs. Whatever they wrong about or, you know, guilty of, they don't want to admit it. They'd rather project, you know, and point the finger at you about something you know, and speak on that and elaborate on that more than anything else. And somebody in this group looking at that, they looking at you differently because of how somebody, you know, choosing to handle something that really ain't even, wouldn't, didn't even, wasn't even called for. That's what I'm getting.
Yeah. Somebody ain't got no other choice but to retreat now because here, yeah, they out of money. The money looking funny. It's laughing at them and shit. And they sitting up here, you know, or whoever this is that's, you know, getting their pockets, you know, ate out, you know, because they up here uh, going back and forth trying to get something done that ain't working and it's backfiring. It's, it's being returned to sender. It's you too protected for anything to happen to on any level, okay? You would have thought that they gave up, you know, two months ago, two hours ago, two days ago. You know what I'm saying? But no, they ain't getting this money back either, okay? It ain't no, uh, it ain't no, uh -uh. somebody just, somebody now sees somebody is who they say they is, or somebody is who they maybe probably imagine somebody is, because I feel like somebody didn't want to believe somebody had gifts or was as spiritual as they thought. And somebody fucked around and found out the hard way that they stuck like Chuck for real, now for real. And they ancestors looking at you, you know, they, your ancestors looking at this person like, the fuck you thought this was? Or they looking at somebody they got involved with, you know, that's out of here feeling like, you know, they going to do God's work and, and, and the devil's too, you know. God don't need no help being God. is God all by itself. Next card. Taking him from you was, was and is all I cared about. Dark soul. See what I'm saying? This person only just wanted the person away from you. So they went out of their way to do a whole lot of spells and rituals to keep this person blinded, blocked, confused. Stripped of their intuition, you know, the third eye blocked, discernment blocked, baby, blinded. Somebody just literally went in and, and, and blindfolded the hell out of somebody for a series of, of, of months, years even. And somebody been working long and hard on their money, their finances, and using other people's finances to keep these spells and rituals going until they got the, the outcome they wanted. They got it. Somebody damn sure got it because somebody walked away from somebody here in a cycle. And this person's whole agenda was to block this person from even seeing the light that you, that they thought they, that they saw that you bestowed upon somebody Somebody did not want that person to ever step back into that light again. So they blocked this person in a whole lot of ways. And this is what made this person go through this dark night of the soul and start seeing you for who you were. Not who somebody said you were, but for who you were. And this person panicked after what they saw and how they contributed to what what was going on with you by way of somebody they chose over you, which was a karmic, somebody with a dark ass soul. This person wouldn't got no soul. They indebted and they are solely a dark worker, period. Period. Next card, you don't owe anyone. They ass didn't invest. You don't owe this person shit. You don't owe this person a couple of forevers or none of that shit. You don't owe this person shit. They ain't invest. They didn't, they didn't pour into you. They didn't put shit into you. But a bunch of bullshit and that's what they got back. What they got, what they left with is what they poured into you. They left you alone so they got left alone. Okay? They left you with no choice, so now they don't have one. Now the choices that they got to make is the ones they going to have to make for themselves now. Because this person never even chose they self in the whole shit. Somebody been listening to other folks and following what they what's between their legs and what's, you know, them two openings in the front of their face, somebody just been following that. They hadn't even been using their head at all. They've been going to other people when it comes to what they need to think about 
instead of them sitting there thinking and thinking they, you know, thinking their way out of something, somebody thought they way into something, just not how to get out of it. And somebody had somebody lay was laying with, waking up with, having sex with, talking with, laughing with, doing bullshit with, wasting time with, wasting time with, wasting time with. And now they out of time. The, this person now is sitting here looking at whatever time they wasted. Every time they close their eyes and go to sleep, they keep seeing the time they done wasted. Anybody else's time they done wasted. People that done wasted their damn time. All the way down to no time. So now this person got to go and back and build up time for their goddamn self before they can even come towards you because... You done got so protected, not just in the 3D, but in the in the 5D too. This person can't even do divination if they wanted to. There's no need for that. This person was supposed to just had done right the first time, you know, when this divine being stepped into their life, but somebody was not ready. And even when they, even if they had seen your halo, I could be talking to an earth angel. Um, for some of you, I feel like somebody could have, child, you, your gifts was who you really were, the being that you really were, the mystical being that somebody looked at you as like a mystery. This person spent more time trying to figure you the fuck out and how to get over on you, how to keep you in a cycle with them because somebody doing it to them. Because they were being a people pleaser. They were being a people pleaser. They only got with somebody because family, friends, and everybody was okay, you know, with what this person was putting down. And they more concerned with their family showing their teeth when they said, I'm going to be with this person here. Me and, me and them going to, you know, give it a shot. And everybody teeth was the showing. And this person felt like, well, okay, I'm on to something then. And this is what somebody ended up with, is what everybody else, you know, wanted. Not what they felt like they wanted. Not what they took the time to use their own intuition to serve. It was blocked. Somebody wanted this person to trust them, not they self. Somebody wanted a masculine to look at them as somebody intellectual. You don't need to use your brain. You don't need to think. I'll think for you. And, and baby, somebody thought their ass right out of their destiny. Now they sitting over here in tower after tower after tower with somebody that is the very person they said that you were. Collective. Spending a whole lot of time trying to compete with somebody that don't compare. Next card, these are all results of my bad choices. What I said. Hey, that's why they seeing you in their dream state. Laying next to somebody that they sleep with. Dreaming about you. And how they choices led them down this road. That just went right off into oblivion. This person bit off more than they can chew. They got with somebody that was way more, caused way more to be with them to then be with they got themselves. Somebody could have spent and wasted a lot of time and money on themselves, but they did it on somebody else that was sitting here saying, you were just going to use this person for their money. You just going to try to come up off this person. Somebody already did and left their ass with nothing. Then using their own money and this person got to use their money to get a spell or ritual going to try to slow you down, catch up it. Uh uh. This person they was with been using their money for spells and rituals. Child, listen. Next card. Last card. Don't eat at your enemy's table. Don't. Don't eat at your enemy's table. Okay. When they come to taking somebody back, reconciling and all that, and sitting around thinking that, because I'm getting, 
This person was sitting here laughing and talking with people that were the very people that was working against them. Every one of them at this table. They sat with, laughed with, did dirt with, talked shit with, plot and planned with, you know, other people, you know, did a lot of uh, scamming and scheming and some other shit together, got a long history with each other. This person sat here at a table full of enemies. Being a people pleaser. This person, they learning, and they could be mirroring you, collected. Um, and when it came to them awakening, the way they would jolted into this, because I feel like somebody went through a transformation or going through one at this time because of somebody using so much divination to stop something and somebody particularly somebody trying to stop somebody like literally swap out whatever ending or new beginning that's coming towards you somebody wanted to snatch that from you Because they don't have enough time to do anything or any kind of gifts or any kind of credit, you know, in the ethers to even say that they got that chance with you again. They don't. For a lot of you, you there is no reconciliation with this person, with your past person or age lover here. This person did way too much and stayed way too damn long and did a lot of shit for the wrong reasons. To really just get at you. To you know do you wrong. Purposely. Purposely. Somebody did not intend to think for themselves. Not one time. This person could protect you if they wanted to. Because they trusted the people around them. That was their enemy more than you. And you were standing alone. With somebody that you were giving an offer to. And was supposed to walk into their life. Plant the seed and grow with this person. And this person ended up turning against you with the table of enemies they was already sitting there eating with. Now these enemies they sat here and ate with is is the devoured they is and everything that could have been anything to them. And they let it happen. Testing your healing. But it came out in reverse. So somebody not even trying to play like you ain't healed and want to come back around to see if you know they can still get that old thing back somebody know they can't they ain't even finna test that shit they not even finna try it because they already know what it is that you wouldn't do you have done that what it is people said you couldn't do you done did that too what somebody said that you was gonna do to this person you didn't do that a lot of shit that folks thought and assumed that blew up in all of them face, even your past person. And I'm going to end it there. So, you guys, make sure you do something nice for someone today. Um, even if you don't know them, if you're new to my channel, um, hopefully the message resonates with you or someone close to you. Or you just get in from the vibe. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button on your way out. Come back and fuck with your girl, all right? And as always, those that genuinely love me know that I love you too. Bye.